Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm hosting you today with three major news here. So we will talk about starting. We will talk about the new battery inside the Model S and we will dive into two major facts that you might not know about the Cybertruck. Let's start with the Starlink. Yes, Starlink is bringing internet into the airline business and they are currently in talks to do that. We don't know how long they will negotiate something here, but it looks like Starlink is moving forward. Not only that, the Starlink satellites will be distributed in the future by the Starship. So Starship will take over the Falcon and they will um, bring all the satellites up there with the Starship, which makes a lot of sense because you can really figure out how the Starship is working, make it um, yeah, in a way that is going constantly up and down, having starts and coming la landing down. And this is making the Starship much safer. You can work with all the data and this will make it much easier to bring humans somewhere in the space if it's Mars, Moon or somewhere else because you have tried and tested the Starship with satellites. So good move here from Starlink. And furthermore, I do think that Starlink is here trying to disrupt an industry where one company dominated for the entire time and that is Google. Check out the stock, it just fell by 9%. Just the fear of SpaceX moving in there with Starlink just crashed the stock by 10%. That's how the market works. They know that Tesla CEO Elon Musk will do anything to disrupt this market and if they're able to provide internet in all the airlines because everyone is going to do that. Just imagine one airline having the ability to give you really cheap internet then all the other airlines wants to want to do that as well because that is a service when it comes to cheap internet that no other airline has right now. And we all know how expensive it is to get a few minutes or a few megabytes to go into the internet when you're flying somewhere, especially if you have a really long flight. So really good move here from starting to move into that market. Just to um, give you some consideration what we talk about here, Gogo made around $1 billion of revenue. So um, it might look pretty small, but um, let's see how this market evolves. And I think um, Starlink has here a lot more potential in the future. Looking at the Cybertruck. For the Cybertruck, I have two factors here that you might really be shocked about. So first one, from all the reservations that we know about, and I have talked about that before, 1 million reservations, some say even more, Let's take the 1 million mark and yes, the deposit of $100 is pretty low and there might be some people canceling. We all know that. But if we take that into consideration, 74% of all reservation holders have bought the FSD package. So just let that sink in. That is a huge number. I mean, 74%, if everyone is taking all the cyber trucks that they order, that would be 740,000 people or 740,000 cyber trucks in that case that are having the FSD package. That is insane, guys. This is just ordered. This is just in the books. It's not even delivered yet. So we see where this entire story can go at some point, but 74% is a lot. We can go even further if we say, well, it's just going to be 500,000 cyber trucks initially based on the reservation we have right now because people might cancel. Then still we are talking about 350 to 360,000 FSD packages and cyber trucks. So really, really high numbers. So um, Tesla is really under pressure now to deliver and bring next level of full autonomous driving because people are now expecting that. They really expect a Cybertruck with the full autonomous driving, having the robot taxi fleet at some point. Yes, we are all patient. We are just waiting for you, Elon, to make it happen. I'm just saying that. So really good news here. Furthermore, the breaking news here is that 27% of those reservations holder were the only one that had already a Tesla before, meaning 73% of those are new 
people to the Tesla brand, guys. Just this is crazy. 73%. That is an entire new community of people moving into the brand of Tesla. And you know how this works. You have one product of Tesla or one product from Apple. You will buy definitely another one. If you're just one time in this ecosystem, if you're once in this entire space of Tesla, you like the product, you most certainly will like it and you will consider buying a different um, product as well, like the Model Y or Model 3 or maybe a Roadster, which is really an upclass product now, but a Model S, for example, would be as well something. So again, um, just moving so many people that have never been there um, into the brand of Tesla is really astonishing. And a lot of um, media out there was talking about well, it is just, um, yeah, it's just fanboys of Tesla. No, it's not. It's 74% of the people here are actually, yeah, from outside. That is really good. Now we are moving into the Model S battery. Talking about the battery, the new battery is a 12 volt lithium iron battery that replaces the conventional lead acid battery. And the 12V battery holds several advantages, which is one is weight, the other one is size, and there is an obvious increase of lifespan, and this is the biggest advantage here, because the lead acid battery had not a long lifespan and sometimes had to be changed three times a year by some owners. I mean, this is crazy. If you think about how Tesla started and with the quality they had, they were in the lead the entire time. But now watching this, I mean, we know how they can get the best car in the consumer reports with this new Model S again, because they are just changing and getting better and better here. So the new battery has a longer lifespan. And just to understand for you, the lead acid battery is working really good with a mixed car, like a car with a battery inside and gasoline. This is where the pressure on the battery is not as high. When you have a full electric car, it's really hard for this lead acid battery to stay and get all this pressure and stay, um, yeah, stay good and perform well. Um, so the um, new 12 volt lithium ion battery is much better in doing that and it is creating much more space inside the car and less weight means more range. We all know that. And talking about range, we do know as well that the range of the Model S is around 400 miles. So it looks all good, guys. And Tesla is moving forward. And if you do enjoy my channel, guys, do consider subscribing. And thank you for all your support. And I hope you enjoy your summertime and the warm weather outside. And I'm really looking forward to have you all back here soon as you are deserving your time outside after coronavirus is over. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.